Hi there, it's Pam with Youth Art Today. Today we're working on camouflage art. Um, that's a great thing to do this time of year. Outside, all the colors kind of blend together. All the browns and neutral type colors in the springtime. I've shared a picture as you see if you can find the deer in the picture. The deer is blending in and it has good camouflage. Um, I'm this is a um, this here is a canvas that I put tea onto a long time ago and the tea soaked in and uh, I thought this would make a good start for my camouflage art instead of starting with a blank canvas it's got you know a little you can also tone your canvas with a neutral color you know a little brown tan whatever you like Well, it looks like my deer turned out to be more of a moose. I'm just going to wait a few moments until it dries and then I will camouflage him in the trees. Another idea I had you might find fun is to take a bunch of these and use them as your trees. They're paper towel rolls. So you see, um, I wouldn't put them, well you might be able to glue them on the canvas. But you could also take a stick and poke holes in and then break it to make branches and you could make trees of different levels. So I would cut this one off and you could make kind of a freeform sculpture. See if I poke it through here. This can then become the twig for another tree. You could also use twigs from outside if it's safe for you to get twigs if you have your own yard. You see, I can make a little tree family and I can paint it and decorate it and I'll show you a little more after this. I'm just gonna check on my, I'm gonna check on my moose, okay. Oh, he feels, oh, he's not quite dry yet. Okay, well, so we're making trees. Now I can bend these sticks a little more. Oh, that one cracked really good. So I could bend them to look more like how rough it looks in the woods this time of year. This one looks a little too straight. cover my distinctive features of my moose like I don't want to cover his most defining feature which is his antlers so I still want people to know it's a moose so I might lighten up on my oh I like that one there's another tree this one could be a broken one see we could put some grass in there. We might need to cover them up a little more with another tree. So I'm going to try a lighter color. This isn't going to be a perfect picture but I want to give you the idea and then you do your own picture. It doesn't have to look like mine. I need to, I might put a lighter tree in front of him. There. I think that was a good decision. So this is my forest. And now, my 
moose is kind of camouflaged, but you can still tell he's a moose, which is good. So I'm using colors that are very close together in hue, as we say, or color. So now when I start putting, like the branches in the woods don't go neatly, like we would arrange a bouquet of flowers. They're haphazard, they're different spots. I might put a little bit of dark, those could be some old leaves or trees or, now I feel like I'm framing my moose too much so I might have to put some smaller twigs so you can't see them as much, right? There's some behind them too. Oh, that's looking good. See, that moose is getting, he's hiding in there and he's hard to see because he's camouflaged. He's got good camouflage. So we can put some blobs of old leaves around and then if we take a different color like um, a reddish color. Hi there. I had to go get a few more colors some reddish brown, some white, some blue to put a little sky peeking through. I'm going to add some reddish brown. I'll start to make some smaller kind of marks. Just like in the woods, it's all kinds of still see him? Oh, that looks pretty good. Now I want to try adding a bit of sky color in. That's where we can have some color in between our upper trees. Probably a bit of blue dulled down and some white. Probably a little white. You might need to clean your paintbrush for this part. We're gonna try to put some blue peeking through in the sky. It doesn't have to be too exact. It can be poking through in places. And afterwards, don't be too precious about your moose. Sky is showing more in the upper part of the picture. And there might be a little bit, there might be a little bit of blue reflected into the bottom here. Put just a little bit in reflection from the sky. We still have our moose. Let's see if we can put a little bit of put a little bit of definition on our moose. Don't want to make it too easy for everyone to find your moose. There. Okay, so this is a tree. Okay, so now you could take some, there's a tiny bit of green that pokes through in the spring. So we could add a tiny bit of some kind of yellowish green. Happy spring, everyone can take a bit of you can take a bit of a mossy browny color see I just took some green yellow brownish and I just oh there's a bit of that moose might be looking for some green shoots or some moss something okay so I have a little hint of green in the picture now what I might do because I do things like this I might just smooth out my picture you want to be careful with this if your picture is too wet it might not work but that's the fun of experimenting, right? 
don't be discouraged. Like, you do it your way and you have fun. Okay, now I have another idea for you. So I've got a hidden mousse and now I have a disposable fork and I might try making some lighter twigs. So I have some bluish brownish on here. So I might try to make some twigs and it might work, it might not. I think a person, maybe if you didn't overdo it, you could Mix a bit of blue in with the brown so you have lighter twigs at the top of your painting. But you can do this on paper. You don't have to use a canvas. I had a tea stained canvas. That's something fun to do if your mom lets you make a strong cup of tea and you can stain your canvas with it, let it dry and then paint later on on it. So I'm mixing blue into my brown because I don't want my top twigs to be too thick and too dark. So, this is kind of fun. I don't know how it'll turn out. And that's part of the, what I like. You might like your picture to turn out more predictable. So in that case, you could practice on a piece of paper first. Um, you don't have to do what I'm doing because there's when I'm doing it like this I'm taking a risk and there's a chance my picture won't turn out but I can it's still valuable to me for experience and I can show you a basic technique I'm just this is not meant to be a perfect picture I'm just showing you a basic technique so that you can try it yourself on your own picture and I actually don't mind the fork treatment I think it'd be nicer if I don't do it all over the whole picture, you know, keep it in that upper part. So the interest I have, the fork marks and the branches up here, and then I have my camouflage mousse there, and I have a little bit of green in the bottom of the picture just to show that spring is coming, right? Um, I might be able to take a tiny bit of my greenish yellow and just do a few of the fork strokes in the front. I don't think that wrecks it. Okay, you have some kind of green plant coming up there. There has to stand out more or be more camouflaged. So I'm gonna go with more camouflage and put a little more dark in front of the moose on one of these trees. Now again, that's a risk. If I wreck my picture, I'm taking responsibility for that, right? But I wouldn't, I don't want you to wreck your picture if that's, you know, I want your picture to turn out the way you want it, so you don't have to do what I do. And, uh, but if you don't like your picture and it doesn't turn out, you can always, uh, you know, paint your canvas white again, even with house paint, and then start over. this okay what else would I do to it I might put a few I might take black and white and make a few little marks I don't want to wreck my picture so I'm not sure about the black but I'll try and see what happens because I can't resist trying new things there's a little bit of black mixing in with my other colors which is good because I don't want to have solid black in my picture I decided so you can mix it with your brown to get a brownish black you mix it with white to get a grayish I mean there's all colors of twigs now I'm quite happy with my picture I don't do as much to the edges because I'm sort of keeping my center of interest around here so I don't want like a strong colored tree right there. I kind of have these pointing out of the picture but I like it. I think it distracts from my moose so he might be harder to find. That's an example of camouflage art for you to try at home and I hope you really have a lot of fun and let's not forget about our little tree sculpture. 
So there's this idea where you can make trees with sticks poking through your paper towel rolls. And then you can also take a marker and draw lines like cross this way. Like you know how the trees, some of the trees, the birch trees or some of the other trees have different markings. You could mark them up and you could hide a quick tiny little owl in there in your markings. If you want to see some quick animals, go back to the quick animals youth art and take a look. So let's say I hide a little owl in there. He's kind of hiding behind the twigs. Then I can, can you know, I can camouflage him. And I can do that with other animals too. And then I can play a game and say, can you find the owl? Can you find the deer? Can you find the moose? Thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now. Always have fun.